this next three weeks, the hottest weeks of the year. Yeah. 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 If you could be up in Canada or something right uh, now, I, that would I, be ideal. I'll, I'll take Nebraska right now. Or yeah, Nebraska. What a lovely good. vacation. Mm -hmm. The Nebraska. Dakotas. You can see you Montana. Can, you can there see your go. dog run away like for like 10 miles. There we go. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You uh -huh. can see the mountains from Kansas. Sure you can. <laughs> or the hills. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Uh, here's a look at our triple tracker, and Neil's exactly right about this. I mean, we have seen several triple digit days, and for Lufkin and Tyler, we saw another one today. And unfortunately, folks, it's going to continue to remain hot, and we're going to be adding to that list over the next week. But here are your bird bands. Shelby County was added over the weekend. As we discussed last week, Anderson, Houston, Cherokee, Angelina, Nacogdoches counties were added, and I'm sure we're going to have more here in the not too distant future. Here are the rainfall totals from this past weekend, and most of you have no idea what I'm talking about here. Most of you did not see the rain, but some of you did, which was great news for places like Wells and Alto there, seeing anywhere from about one to two inches of rain. Northern Sabine County, about two and a half inches reported as that severe thunderstorm moved into Louisiana. So we'll take what we can get, but folks, we do need to see a little more because as we look at our 30 day rainfall deficit, we're behind by one, two, even three inches of rain in deep east Texas and unfortunately that will be the trend over the next week. We're probably going to be adding to that deficit area of high pressure out to the west that's influencing all of the weather that's occurring here in the Lone Star State. It's part of the reason why it's so warm. Wichita Falls was at 107 degrees earlier today. We're now down to 106. San Antonio's at 101. Houston's at 94, Waco's at 102, it's 101 at DFW. Closer to home, temperatures are in the lower 90s to our north. Hopkins County seat there, Sulphur Springs at 93, Emory 94 degrees, Quitman's at 99, and as we look at Smith County, we were at 100 degrees in Tyler a little earlier. We've come down about a degree. It's 100 in Henderson, and as we look further off to the south, you'll find more upper 90s and lower 100s. This stand out, doesn't it? To the southeast of Palestine, 104 degrees. That is hot. 98 in Nacogdoches. We are at 100 in Lufkin. Dew points, not half bad though. Upper 50s, lower 60s. So it doesn't feel a lot warmer than our ambient air temperature. It does feel like we are in the upper 90s and lower 100s as we look at that heat index. 74 tonight, mostly clear skies. So at least we'll have a little bit of relief tonight thanks to that lower humidity. But tomorrow we're right back at it. Upper 90s, lower 100s for those high temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook. It's going to be a less active pattern and it can't really get much less active than what we have right now. Below normal rainfall is expected and then those high temperatures. I have it in my forecast. So it will be in the upper 90s and lower 100s, which is not a good situation because Places in East Texas are already dry. We're just going to get drier with these above normal temperatures and below average precipitation. Here are the next seven days. Triple digit heat Tuesday and Wednesday, 99 Thursday and Friday, and then triple digits again for the weekend and early next week. In deep East Texas, this is how the rest of July is going to go. Lower 100s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we're in the upper 90s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, very close to that 100 degree mark for the rest of July. Neil Casey. Thank you, sir. All right.